Hi, it's Time Live. We get quite a lot of questions in about the whole 100 days of walking thing. So we thought we'd answer them. We, we You know, you can send them in to me now and I'll answer them. Uh, but loads of them have come in already as well. But if there is something you're, you're curious about, a lot of people ask things about, what do I do if I miss a day or whatever it is? So now is your chance. We'll give you as much feedback as we can. And there's kind of no right or wrong answer to a lot of this stuff. Some of it's just like whatever have you, wherever you're having yourself, if you know what I mean. But I know people do want to ask me things. So let's fire away. Let's take our first question, Nessa. Okay, so the first question is, do I have to walk in a group? Do I have to walk in a group? No. Loads of people do walk in groups and it can be a good way of motivating you. Uh, and what I have suggested to people before is, is they go on their local Facebook pages, you know, community Facebook pages and stuff like that, uh, or suggest it to your friends. And walking in a group when you don't feel like going for a walk can be helpful because if you've arranged to meet Johnny and Mary at seven o'clock on a Tuesday evening you're more likely to do that if you don't feel like going out on a Tuesday evening than if you haven't arranged to meet them so walking as a group is good but equally walking with one friend is good or walking with a podcast or walking listening to newstalk.com on our go loud app is good do whatever you enjoy doing some people like the solitude of walking some people like to listen to nature sounds some people like to listen to you know an audio book some people listen to music. Do whatever works for you. There's no, there's no, there's no answer to that, that that's wrong or right. Do whatever will make you walk more is all I would say. Okay, so the next one says, how long does it have to be? How long does the walk have to be? Well, that's the whole beauty of 100 Days of Walking. It's as simple as this. You walk every day for 100 days for at least 30 minutes. Okay, so you can walk for more. You can walk for two and a half hours for all we care. Do whatever you want. But the low bar is 30 minutes. And the reason we say that is, is if you've been for a walk for 30 minutes, it's a decent walk. You can walk longer, but it's a decent walk. If you go for a walk for 10 or 15 minutes, it's a bit less. And it's a bit less of a commitment and less of an effort. And we also know that the guidelines on, on exercise are that 30 minutes a day for at least five days, so for seven days is excellent per week, is what you need to hit in order to be fit and healthy. So a half an hour walk a day is doing everything by way of all the benefits of walking that you need to get. So 30 minutes is what it is. Do more if you choose, but try not to do less. 30 minutes is the kind of the low bar. Okay, so it doesn't matter how many steps. No, it doesn't actually. And there's a reason for that. There's a reason we didn't say 10,000 steps or whatever it is. I would love people doing 100 days of walking to be every age from, you know, six to 60, from 8 to 80, from 9 to 90. It doesn't matter. Old, young, you can do it. Fit, unfit, you can do it. Heavy, thin, all shapes and sizes, all ages, all comers. That's what that's what I want. And, and if you set a step count, you're kind of, for some people to hit 10,000 steps, they'd be walking for a long time. They could be walking for nearly an hour if they were very slow. So they're, they're being asked to do so much more in a way because their age or their level of fitness is working against them. Do it at whatever pace you want. Do it over whatever distance you want. Some people in half an hour can do more than 5K. Some people might do 3K. Some people might do 1K. I don't care. Get out for the half an hour into the fresh air. Walk for a half an hour. That's all. No step counts. No pacing. No distances. None of that. Uh, simple commitment of half an hour a day. Probably relative to today. So what about if the weather is really bad? Ah, yes. Yeah. Storm Brendan is raging all around the country. Do stay safe. Please be sensible, guys. Do not be walking on cliffs or piers or beautiful spots, no doubt, in bad weather. Just mind yourselves. And obviously walking under like heavy trees or whatever if there's a storm, not a good idea. However, if it's not Storm Brendan, if it's just normal bit of rain, Get your coat on and get out that door, OK? If you are not going to walk in the rain in Ireland, you're never going to walk. So there is no such thing as bad weather. There is bad gear. Put on a raincoat, put your hood up, put a woolly hat on, put on a pair of gloves. Yeah, you might come back and be cold and wet. You won't melt. Get into a hot shower or what have you. And um, I went out, actually it was the first day, 11 was the first day I got wet and walked in the rain, which is not bad in Ireland in January. Um, and I walked with a hood that was, I looked like, something from the return of the Jedi I had a huge hood on me um, no there's no there's no get out of jail for cold wind rain if it's dangerous weather conditions I would suggest walk around your house or walk indoors or something like that don't take any risks but a bit of rain a bit of wind uh -uh, out you go so this, you've kind of answered this a little bit so any tips for rainy day walks but do you wear runners or boots on those rainy day walks? 
Um, I, I, I personally have worn both, but I know that the runners that I wear, and I'm looking down at them because I'm wearing them right now, I've come home with them wet and my socks wet too. I actually do have walking shoes because I've done the Camino, so I have waterproof walking shoes, but lots of people don't. Again, there's worse things than wet feet and wet socks. You know what I mean? If you do wet your runners, all you do is stuff them with newspaper, turn them upside down in the radiator, wash your socks and dry your feet. It's like it's not the end of the world. Like we're very precious about getting a bit wet or a bit blown around or a little bit cold or that kind of thing. You can do all this stuff. But if you do have walking shoes that are waterproof, ideal for the rain. If you don't, out you go anyway. Okay, so Somebody wants to know, um, does it count if I cycle? Well, our challenge is 100 days of walking. If you want to do a different thing where you're doing 100 days of cycling, that's absolutely fine. And I say fair play to you. But this is a walking challenge and there's a reason that it's a walking challenge. Walking is the simplest of all exercise. It needs the least equipment, the least investment, and it has the least obstacles to taking part of any other exercise. You don't have to go to a location like a gym. You don't need a membership and it doesn't cost you any money. And there's no investment there for people. So that's why I'm not going to change it to anything other than walking but you you do you and uh, fair play to you for walking for cycling rather for 100 days that's pretty cool too okay. so this is the last question so any tips on how you motivate yourself to walk for 100 days I absolutely hear you on this one how do you motivate yourself yesterday for whatever reason even though it was a lovely day it wasn't stormy yesterday it was sunny and bright it was a perfect crisp winter's day and I was looking at my social media and all the people posting pictures of gorgeous walks around the country and saying loving it loving it and for whatever reason I was not loving it I just felt a bit tired and a bit worn out and a bit flat yesterday and, and I was not the one to be motivating anybody really I, w I just I, I didn't feel this great Ooh, I can't wait to go for my walk I thought oh Christ I have to go for my walk there will be days like that for you, for me, for all of us. You don't feel upbeat for 100 days. You don't feel like, yes, I can't believe I'm having such a great time for 100 days. The thing is, this is go out whether you feel it or not. Sometimes you have to walk the walk before you feel the feel. And that's just the reality of it. You've, if you have committed in your mind to doing it, just do it. On those days, what I did yesterday was I scooped up my 17 year old daughter and my 10 year old son and the dog. And I was like, guys, come with me. They don't always come with me. They don't always want to. The dog will come with me, but the, the company won't. And I was like, come with me. I don't really feel like walking. Well, you know, it would help. And in fairness, they did. And, and so on a day when you don't have the motivation, first of all, I would say is you don't always have to feel it to do it. You can just do it anyway. There's days you don't feel like going to wor work, but you still go to work. So sometimes just do it. On the days when you don't feel like you, maybe ask a friend to do it. On the days when you don't want to do it, maybe treat yourself in some way. Kind of go, do you know what? When I come home from the walk on the way home, I'm going to buy myself a lovely cup of coffee or I'm going to do something nice for myself. Or on the days when you don't want to do it, have a bubble bath or do something else. But try not to fall off the wagon. You will not always feel, if we were waiting to feel moved to walk, like, I, you know, I, I'm moved to doing this. If we were always waiting for that, we wouldn't do it. And, and so sometimes you have to get on and do things just because you said you would. And you'll still get the good feeling from doing it. And indeed, those days where you push yourself when you don't really want to, those days, I always think, are a bit like the days you recommit. You recommit to doing something. And they kind of strengthen your resolve. So there's something to be taken from those days. And we all have them, me included. I'd still say get out and walk no matter what. And one last question. We're sneaking this one in because it's a good one here. So Christine asks, when we do the walks, are we supposed to post it on social every time? Um, there's no, the great thing about the 100 days of walking is there is no real rules. I love seeing your pictures and I think there is a kind of a community of people doing it. We know there are thousands of you doing it because um, we see the hashtag. I, I like seeing them and they give me something seeing them. Um, I, I post every day because I kind of feel Truthfully, I kind of feel obliged to, and I don't mean obliged to from a worky sense. I feel obliged to that I've asked everyone to do this with me. So I kind of try and bring people with me and motivate people to do it. Uh, but if you miss posting for a day, so what? That doesn't matter. Like the, once you've gone for the walk, you've done what you've set out to do. There are probably people doing the 100 days of walking who don't have social media. There's probably older people. Uh, my son was in the 
post office recently and he was standing in a queue behind a couple of older ladies and they were discussing 100 days of walking in front of him because he was texting me going, Ma, they're talking about your thing in the post office. They probably don't post about it ever, but they're still doing it. So we love to see them. I do think it helps motivate you if you see other people's and you do feel like you're in a kind of a, a gang, I guess, uh, a virtual gang at least. So, so I think, yes, do it. But no, you don't have to do it. Do whatever suits you. I just want you to walk. That's all. It's very simple and enjoy it. Thanks very much. We're going to end up now.